All right, what's up, you fucks, and welcome back to another episode of the eating in the car time. I'm your host, Spencer. And today, we're going back to Wendy's. Oh, yes, Wendy's is doing a weird Italian thing. They have, what's it called? I think it's called just like the mozzarella or maybe the mozzarella marinara uh, sandwich. Or I know what it's called. It's called the... The Wendy's Italian Mozzarella Chicken Sandwich. So, yeah. And they also have garlic fries. I don't know. It doesn't seem good to me, but it's so crazy. I had to try it, you know? How can you not? So it's got, like, I don't know, some sort of weird garlic bread bun. Um, this one has an absolutely pitiful amount of marinara sauce and a pathetic-looking slice of mozzarella. I guess this is just me being stupid or something. I could have sworn in the picture it looked like a fried mozzarella thing. Like, they did a fried mozzarella that was, like, melting. And I guess that, yeah, I guess I was just way off because it doesn't... It <laughs> looks looks bad um i mean i'm not a big tomato sauce fan and i was kind of like how is this gonna be with so much tomato sauce or marinara sauce and i guess my worries were unfounded so yeah let's let's get our munch on so that was <laughs> that was hard to eat overall you know first impressions was it was just really dry very chewy and tough the bun it was really dense and dry. It had vague spices in it that weren't bad, but I don't think it would have, like, I don't think I would have been able to tell the difference if it were a normal bun. I think it would just be about the same. And I think a normal bun would, uh, wouldn't be so dry. It'd be easier to chew through. So that's not great. The chicken was dry. Uh, it felt like n lower quality than what I expect from, like, you know, I always get the, the spicy chicken sandwich at, um, at uh, Wendy's. Not always, but that's a pretty common go-to. And I feel like that's a really good piece of chicken. And uh, it's not dry, I would say. Um, but this was dry. It also seemed different. I don't know. I think, I, I don't know if they fry this differently with different breading or something than their normal chicken patties. But something about it just seemed different. And I don't think that was bad. I think it kind of like made it more chicken parmy. But it didn't seem like what I'm expecting. It had like a, a really thick and crunchy breading, which I thought that was fine. Um, although, you know, it added to this dry, chewy, hard to hard to eat thing. Like, it was really hard to like swallow. <laughs> it was not like it tasted bad. It's just like it was so dry and chewy. And I don't know. It was just it was a real ordeal to eat. Um there was basically no sauce. The sauce was just enough to kind of make it fucked without enough to, like, uh, alleviate the dryness. Um, so you just had this kind of vague, like, almost like if you get, like, a, a tomato-flavored wheat thin or triscuit or something that has that, like, you know, caprese or kind of, like, sun-dried tomato flavoring. It kind of tasted like that. Um... And again, it didn't, it didn't help with the dryness and, uh, the cheese was actually pretty good. It kind of had this, uh, this funky kind of complexity to it that cut through pretty well. I think it would be better if there was more cheese, um, because, you know, it's really the only thing that is giving you much, you know, the tomato sauce, if you're like a big tomato sauce fan, I mean... There's not enough of it to satisfy you, but at the same time, it would, like, probably improve it. Whereas, to me, it's, like, I don't know. Again, there wasn't enough of it. There was just enough of it to kind of make it taste different than, like, a chicken sandwich, you know? So, that was not good. Um, yeah, that sucked. I, I was certainly, like I said, I was worried that it would be, like, a lot of sauce and it would be all, like, messy. So, maybe they're trying to not do that so they don't add as much sauce so it's not, like dripping and sogging up the whole sandwich and the wrapper and making it all messy but because that's its own nightmare especially for eating in your car but uh yeah it's not it's not what you want 
and it's not even what you expect although when i was looking at it it was basically what i expected it tasted like about as uh, much of a bummer as, uh, as it looked like it was gonna be and then we got the garlic fries it just looks like they poured it doesn't look like it's in a sauce or anything it just looks like they're uh they like sprinkled some seasonings on top yeah these are better than they look it's you know it's just kind of this dryish spice there it looks like there's kind of um toasted bits of garlic it's a pretty it's a pretty even flavor like a lot of times with garlic fries, you get these big chunks and bits of garlic. And so like on one end of one fry, you have a big garlicky punch. And then like the next three fries, they have like no garlic, you know, or you have to like smash it into the garlic to kind of get it. But this, this to me, it feels pretty even um, through most of them I've eaten. And although it looked like it was just kind of on the top, when I dug into the fries, you can see there's there's a pretty even distribution. So it definitely feels cheap, but not in a way that's off-putting. It's like, yeah, these are like if Wendy's fries <laughs> had like a garlic element to them, which is, you know, we'd expect in a good way. So I gotta go with one and a half forks. The garlic fries were really good, but I don't think that excuse, like the sandwich is like one fork and I'm not taking the average of the two because you know, the garlic fries shouldn't be weighted as much as the sandwich. Um, yeah, I would definitely get the fries again. Like maybe go and get a spicy chicken and get the garlic fries or something. I don't know, you know, but not the sandwich. Although some weird part of me wants to try and go to a different Wendy's and get the sandwich again and see if it's better or see if it's the fucking same, you know, I don't know. It definitely wants me to, uh, it makes me want to investigate further to see if like, that's the normal chicken, if, if that's the amount of sauce that they use. You know, maybe I get the normal chicken, fried chicken sandwich and see if it's the same piece of chicken, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I don't know, get the fuck out of here.